Lieutenant, I never thought we'd be teaming up with the Russians. I bet the Russians are saying the same thing about us. We're almost at the Ukrainian border. All right, let's go in and give it a try. Yes, sir. This little button will blow all those stupid soldiers to hell. Stand by for the first attack. We have four unidentified incoming choppers. Are those Russian backup troops? Negative. We haven't received any reports like that. They're launching their missiles! Three missiles at 7 o'clock! What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Stand by for the second launch! Party time! Let's go! Move it! Move out! Move out! Get dressed! Now! Mr. Ambassador, as you can see, you have no choice. And your white light means nothing to me. Mama! You had better realize this. Understand? Leave my family alone! How do you do, Mr. Ambassador? I am Boris Ugoski, the leader of our little band of terrorists called the Knights of the Apocalypse. Knights of the Apocalypse? What do you want? I am planning to use this train to obtain funds for our activities. What are you talking about? You're going to pay for this. Be quiet and listen. I'm in charge here. Papa! No, Mr. Ambassador, you are mistaken. It is your government that is going to pay. Twenty billion dollars. And I brought this little toy with me to convince you. Attention, French government. We, the Knights of the Apocalypse, are now approaching your border. This is Lieutenant Jack Morton. The train has been taken over by terrorists in a sudden attack. We're aware of that. Lieutenant Morton, the circuit you're using now is connected to the UN International Counter-Terrorism Organization. I am the commander of that organization's headquarters. Is that clear? How many of your units survived the attack? None! Only me! Here's the plan. As it stands now, the Blue Harvest has been captured by an armed terrorist group called the Knights of the Apocalypse. They're demanding $20 billion and safe rail passage to France as ransom for the French ambassador. I'm dispatching a rescue team now. Lieutenant Morton, you will be under UN command. The French ambassador and his family are being held hostage. You are to make sure they're safe until the rescue team arrives. Report immediately when you've accomplished this. Roger! The terrorists might intercept our transmissions. Limit your radio use to emergency rescue requests. Any questions? How do we get in the train? There's a hatch on the roof of car 11. Roger! Jack, stay alert.
Ambassador, are you all right? I think so. Who are you? Lieutenant Jack Morton of NATO, sir. I was sent here to rescue you. Oh, thank God. They took my family away. My wife and daughter. Do you know where they took them? The terrorists were talking about taking them and one SP to the rear car. And who are you? My name is Mason. I'm the ambassador's secretary. I've also been in the military and SP service. I see. Mr. Ambassador, a rescue team is coming, but I'll try to rescue your family myself. Ambassador and Mr. Mason, you'd better stay right here and wait until you hear from me. You. Lieutenant Jack Morton of NATO, and who are you? Christina Wayborn, the French ambassador's agent. Are you with the special police? Is it supposed to be a job only for men? <laughs> no, not at all. Good work. Where are they holding the ambassador's family? Mrs. Simon and their daughter Jane were taken to car number 13. I was kept here to be executed. You said car 13? The ambassador's in car 10. His secretary, Mason, is guarding him, but it's still not safe. Go up there and stay with them. All right, but I wish I had a radio to communicate with you. Here, use this. Thanks, and good luck, Lieutenant Morton. Call me Jack. Okay. I'm Lieutenant Jack Morton. I came to rescue you. Your husband is safe and a rescue team is coming. I understand. But my daughter... What's your name? Jane. It's all right now, Jane. You can see your father very soon. I promise you. You can run with your mother to the first floor, can't you? Uh-huh. All right, let's move! Don't worry, I'll cover you. Run straight to the first floor. This is Jack. The hostages are safe and secured. What's the situation now? The rescue team is scheduled to arrive there in five minutes. They will meet with you at car 14. After confirming the safety of car 14, you will guide in the helicopters. Until completion of the rescue operation, you will be under the command of the rescue team commander. And who is he? First Lieutenant Anderson. Now get moving. Please just wait here. I'll be right back. This is Jack. You may proceed with the rescue operation. Roger. Jack, the ambassador is missing. I found his secretary unconscious in the VIP room. Calm down, Christina. Stay right there by Mason. After we get the ambassador's wife and daughter out, I'll come over. Roger. But, but my, my husband? He'll catch up with you very soon. I promise you I'll rescue your father. So go ahead and wait for him. Papa gave me this when we got on the train. He said it was a good luck charm. Will you give it to him for me? I sure will. This is Jack. We have an unexpected situation here. I need the rescue team back here right now. What happened? I don't know. I'm heading for the VIP room to find out. What happened? The ambassador went to the bathroom. Then suddenly I heard him scream, and before I could get to him, I was surrounded by terrorists. And the ambassador? What happened to him? I don't know. Did you see what happened? No. All that happened before I got here. 
Which way did the terrorists go? I don't know. I was knocked out cold. Jack, we have a state of emergency. The terrorists have notified us that they are going to attack the neighboring countries with ATBMs to retaliate for our rescuing the ambassador's wife and daughter. You must prevent this attack. Do you know where the missiles are located? The missiles are on car 7, a missile launcher is on car 9, and the control room is in car 8. Did you find the ambassador? We're still searching. Very well, but you've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm Sergeant Billy McGuire, a radio operator. Are there any other survivors? I'm not sure, but I'm afraid they were wiped out. The terrorists are going to launch a missile. Is there any way to stop them? That screwdriver. Take it with you. Open the panel on the missile. But if you press the button, the triggering device will be activated. Ten seconds later, it'll explode. It's very risky. I got it. Wait here for a while. I'll come back and get you later. Don't worry about me. I'm a real lucky guy. Just go and stop the missile. understand the seriousness of the situation. I am sure that by now you have a good idea about how fantastically powerful the weapon is that we have in our possession. What are your demands? First of all, there is the ransom for the ambassador. Ten billion dollars as half of the full amount to be deposited in our designated bank without delay. Also, we need a cleared and secured rail line to the French border. Let no one, and I mean no one, come within a 10 kilometer radius of the train. We need some time to discuss this with the authorities. You must realize how impatient we are at present. Abort the rescue mission. All helicopters will return to base immediately. Obey my orders and you will be spared. <laughs> I will contact you again. Get me Lieutenant Morton on the radio. You mean the Russian terrorist Boris Zagoski? Yes, the infamous former KGB agent who was worse than any other assassin. And another thing, the Russian military has advised us that he possesses several Soviet-made nuclear warheads. We think those warheads are probably on the Blue Harvest train. Also, 
Because of the trouble we had a while ago, the media got wise to it and began sniffing around. As long as there is the possibility that the terrorists are holding those warheads, we can't make any hasty moves. At any rate, finding the ambassador and securing his safety is a matter of the highest priority. Roger. Christina, what's your situation? I have disengaged the fire alarm system. Let's meet on the deck of car 9. Roger. You'll find a wounded soldier in one of the rooms on your way. Look after him. He's losing a lot of blood. Isn't there a medical area on this train? Yes, there is. It's in car 6. Car... number... 5. I'll go first and check if it's safe. Take care of him. I was so shook up I forgot all about this. A terrorist dropped it when I was attacked in the VIP room. His wound isn't too serious, and I managed to stop the bleeding. But he's already lost a lot of blood. He needs a transfusion as soon as possible. It's no use. I've checked all the medicine and there's nothing there that'll help him. He's in critical condition. If only we could give him a transfusion. Blood pressure is coming up. Uh, you shouldn't move now. Can you talk? Sure. I told you I was lucky. And car number five? What about car number five? The terrorists. When they broke in, they made a mad dash toward car number five. Anything else? I have no idea what this car key is for, but I found it in the passageway. Christina, Mr. Mason, wait here. I'll search the forward cars and try to find the ambassador.
hell do you want? Just this. I will take good care of it from now on. What the hell is it? Well now, if you survive all this, and if we ever meet again, I will tell you. But I'm afraid that's not the way it's going to happen. Boris! Wait! Freeze! Are you all right? I'm fine, but we have to go after the train. We have no time to lose. I found a small airplane hidden in a hut behind the church. If we could use that... All right, let's go. Are you all right? They broke in while I was in the infirmary. I couldn't do anything because I was outnumbered. It's all right. Forget about it. Where did they take the other two? Enough of this wasting time. The game of hide and seek you have been playing is about to end. I am keeping the baggage you were looking for. The necessary procedures to return it will be conducted in the tactics room in car 12. I shall be waiting for you. Do you think you could get to car 4? What? I'm coming to car 12 with you! No. There's not enough time. We'd better split up. If you can, go to the main computer room and run a search of the train's interior. Look for a place where they could be hiding the ambassador. I'll try to find it. Good. I'll check with you later. Are you all right? Ah, Lieutenant. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks to my bulletproof vest. It's got titanium plates in it. You really are a lucky devil. The Ambassador. What happened to him? 
We still don't know where he is. I think the Ambassador slipped through their fingers on his own. He must have something they really need. I thought Mason was with him. Yes, he was. For a while. Can you move? Ah, I think I'm immortal. Go and join Christina in the main computer room. Can you make it? I'll do my best. What about you? I'm going to try and rescue the Ambassador and his secretary. So it was you! I see you finally figured it out, Jack. And I must give you credit for overcoming Boris, much to my surprise. I've known him since the time I infiltrated the Embassy. Well, do you have the IC? Let Christina go first! Sure. Now put your gun and the IC on the floor. Kick the IC over here! Release Christina! Who do you think has the advantage right now? Christina! Don't move! Stand up! Stop where you are! <laughs> Ambassador! Uh, uh, uh. Are you alright? Did you get hit? No, no, I think it just grazed the helmet. I made a big mistake. I never thought my secretary Mason would do this. The Ambassador is safe, but the object I retrieved in Car 5 has fallen into the terrorist's hands and... Christina will be alright. She's a very tough girl and can take care of herself. I hope so. I'm deeply grateful to you for rescuing my wife and daughter. Oh yes, your daughter asked me to give you this. She told me it's a good luck charm. Lieutenant Morton, there's a chance we just might rescue Christina. Come. This pendant you gave me is the key, Jack. It's what they were after. See the slots in the base of the statue? We'll put the two keys in at the same time. Verification of palm print. I'll explain everything later. When I show them this, I'm positive they will negotiate. Now, hurry and get Mason. Mason, I have what you want. 
Just as I thought. It was the Ambassador who was in that radiation suit. Now show it to me. Here it is. Good. Drop the gun and hand over the disc. No. Release Christina first. Who do you think has the advantage right now? Christina, walk slowly toward me. Uh, hurry up! <laughs> Bulletproof class! Yes. Tough luck, Lieutenant Morton. Damn! I'm really grateful to both of you for bringing this disc from the Ambassador. Oh, and to show my appreciation for what you've done, I'm going to tell you what's on it. Recorded on this disc is the blueprint for a hydrogen engine that can supply all the energy for the next generation. Something the whole world is interested in. And the IC is a prototype which will be inserted into the center of the engine as a stabilizing device. Surprised? Can you imagine the astronomical profit I'm going to make from this engine? <laughs> well, time is up. This place is also going to blow. Oh yes, the little surprise that Boris planted will start ticking soon. You don't have much time, so you'd better start looking for it. And that briefcase over there, it's a little gift for you. Please, take it with you. Right at this moment, I possess all the wealth in the world. Yes, now I am Rex Mundy, the king of the world! <laughs> We've got to get away from here fast! The system is wrecked, totally out of control. The time has come to launch a counterattack. The Eternal Kingdom is to be resurrected to give a crushing blow to the slaves of capitalism. Does that mean? Could it be nuclear? Is the triggering device functioning? What do we do now? Jack, where is the nuclear warhead? This is the system retrieving software. Maybe I can do something with it. Hold on. Okay, all the cars are open now. All right! The terrorists have very carefully worked everything out this far, but they might have set more traps. It's too risky to let the rescue team move in closer. There's no reason to lose this chance. I suggest we send in the rescue team immediately to get the ambassador, then blow up the train in a tunnel. We don't have enough intelligence yet to analyze the situation correctly. We have no idea what the consequences will be if we blow up the train. The consequences will vary according to the location. It will be too late after the train enters the city. The deputy commander is right. We must prevent a nuclear blast from happening in Paris. 
Contact the French government. Ask them which tunnel we can use to explode the train. Summon geographical experts and nuclear physicists. Tell the rescue team to stand by and be ready to move on a moment's notice. And get me Lieutenant Morton on the radio. I've got Lieutenant Morton. Lieutenant Morton? I'm presently moving to disarm the nuclear device. This is headquarters' decision. As of now, we are changing the Blue Harvest course to the southern France route. In the event the nuclear device cannot be disarmed, the train will be destroyed inside a designated tunnel along that route. This decision is made to prevent the train from entering Paris and to minimize radiation contamination. Your time to disarm the device is limited to when the train reaches the designated tunnel. What about the plan to rescue the ambassador and the others? That is being discussed right now. You mean to expect the worst? This is the last order. Make sure you return alive. Roger. What's up? The main system of the train started to act erratically all of a sudden. On the monitor, a strategy program titled Mythology Tactics came up. Mythology Tactics? It says the Blue Harvest train itself will be turned into a nuclear missile and by exploding it after entering Paris, it will contaminate all of the EU countries with fallout, but it won't hit Russia. And the train is quickly gaining speed. Destruction of the EU? Then the system retrieving CD that Mason had was nothing but a trap! Come to think of it, the moment I checked the first car with that retrieving CD, the system started to act very strange. Are there more nuclear warheads other than the six we have here? I don't know. Report this to headquarters immediately!
That phony disc fits you perfectly. You bastard! Lieutenant Morton, thank you. I will never forget the fact that you rescued my wife and daughter. Jack, I'd really like to get to know you better. When we get to Paris, I'll take you to this lovely little cafe near the opera. Roger that. Affirmative. <laughs>